Hi, my name is Alan Simpson, and this is a video on using Google Custom Search to allow people to search your website. This is a free and easy method. It'll only take you a few minutes, and the search box will look something like this. I'm going to assume you know how to edit HTML, so we'll uh, take it from there. Step one is going to be open up any old web browser, Chrome, Safari, doesn't matter. Browse out to google.com. And if you have an account there, go ahead and sign in. If you don't have an account, you can set one up that way. I have an account, so I'll sign in. And once I'm in my account, you'll see my picture appears here now. And I'll search for custom search engine. There's going to be a bunch of them. And this is the one you want, csegoogle.com. Go ahead and click that. And then you want to click add and then it's pretty much just a matter of following the on-screen instructions type in the site you want to search and that'll be the domain name of your site mine's alansimpson.me you don't need the http um, if there's a www in front you can go ahead and add that and they do show some other ways you can do it feel free to experiment but i typically just use the domain name like you see up there uh, scroll down and click create And really, you could just click Get Code now and be done with it. But there are some ways you can customize it if you click this Control Panel button next to Modify Your Search Engine. You'll come to various options. This Look and Feel thing over on the left side is how you get to the options for changing its appearance. Over on the left here, they're showing you how the search results will appear. Typically, I go with overlay. That just kind of puts it in front of your page, and people can pick from there. You feel free to try out some of these other things if you want. But I say, you know, get started with overlay. It's easy. Themes, not a whole lot of variety with that. Um, you can see the search box over here. Uh, the shiny one probably has the most distinctive look. Kind of raises it up like that. Uh, but I usually just go with minimalist because you can add some styling of your own as I'll, I'll show you later. Okay, you can scroll to the bottom and click Save. And then um, over on Customize here, you can play around with the border and background color. Also, the font, if it the current font clashes with your site, there's a few font choices there. Click Save and get code, and that's it. You're done. It gives you all the code you need. And it's really just this one tiny little snippet right here. You can select all that and copy it, then go paste it into a web page. I'll actually create a new blank web page to get started just to test things out. Call it search.html. Obviously, you can name the page whatever you want. And you just have to paste in all that code you got anywhere between the body and body tags of the page. And then the search box will show up on that page. Any page where you put the code will have the search box on it. All right, so if I go check this out in a browser, you can see that it's actually as wide as the whole page, which is a little awkward, but I'll show you how you can style it shortly. So to search your site, a visitor will just type whatever word or phrase they want to search for and press enter or click this magnifying glass, and they'll get this little pop-up window of search results and right now, all of these are coming from my site. So even though it looks like a Google search, it's not searching the whole Internet. It's just searching my site. And anything they click here will take them to a page on my site. Now, realistically, they're going to also show ads above those, you know, paid ads. So um, if you don't want the paid ads, then you have to pay for this service. I don't know what the going rate is, but if you just look around the custom search engine page at uh, Google will be able to tell you how to set that up. Now, in my real site, I did things a little bit differently. Let me just grab that exact same code I got out of uh, Google. That I didn't change, and I'm just going to pop it into Notepad here, and then go over to my real site, and I'll show you how I set it up there. Now, on my real site, I have a file called header nav, and it shows the header navigation bar on every page. So what I did is I just stuck the tags here up on the header 
of my page. And I put them in a div called uh, ID equal SRCH. SRCH is just a name I made up short for search. And I did that so I could control the styling of it. You know, I'll use CSS to style it. Now in my style sheet, I have a bunch of style rules for the header. One of them is this header pound search, which applies to that um, div in there. And I gave it a specific width, and I used absolute positioning to uh, position it over near the top right. Then for the div box itself, I had to go in there and um, poke around with inspect and figured out that this um, style rule would control the background and the padding and the border, how to use important to override their things. And I'll give you this code on the home page for the site so you don't have to try to figure it out yourself. Also, after I narrowed that search box, I realized the words custom search were partly cut off, which looked kind of tacky. So I used this style rule to hide the words custom search inside the text box. So this is how the whole thing ends up looking on my site. Obviously, you can style yours however you like. Those are just some suggestions. Now, I just realized after looking at that that the uh, text box and button were a little out of alignment. So I went back into my style sheet and added this style rule, which just moves the text box for the search up a couple of pixels. And that got them back in alignment. And if you're wondering what happened to the JavaScript that I just put in, my main.js file, which is all the JavaScript for that website. All right? And with that, I'll say thanks for watching. My name is Alan Simpson. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video, and I hope to see you around the net. And I will put a link to the homepage for this site with the code in the description for this video. All right, thanks again. Bye-bye now.